like, share, subscribe. I'm going to forget to tell you later. Hey look, a pond. Hello my scrappy friends. This is a uh, little video. I went out today and did a couple of loads and uh, I went down a road that I hadn't been down in a very long time. So I thought I would tell a story about the last time I had gone down this road. Uh, so I had just moved back from Ontario to do some work. It was springtime and uh, the roads weren't great. The guy that I was uh, traveling with, we'll call him Wyman, he always had to um, chain up. He was in a, an end dump tandem and uh, it, he just had to chain up for every hill at whatever. So we were going down uh, the road and we got to the uh, rig. We were loading up uh, dirty dirt or like contaminated soil. So it has to go to a special uh, spot to, to be dumped and treated and that. So we were all loaded up and so Wyman had left and uh, I called him. I, we were going to go back out the Farrell Creek Road and I called him and I said, uh, did you go back out the Farrell Creek Road? He said, no, I took the, um, the haystack. That's the road we're on here. I said, oh, really? Because the haystack is notoriously bad especially uh like if there's if it's wet or anything um and i said it was all right and he said oh yeah no it was perfect so i i said oh wow okay right on so uh i figured if he made it without chains then i was fine because i never had to chain up well I very rarely had to chain up and uh he was always chaining up so i thought oh that's good so he said he didn't need any chains he just he said it was dry and perfect so I came down, and uh, we're coming along here, so we just passed the two board there. By the way, I'm uh, recording this over because it was so loud. I had to uh, shut the volume way down on it and uh, and just tell the story over again. But anyways, yeah, we're uh, the, the bridge is around three and a half, and uh, I, so I'm coming down here, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty amazing, like, this road, this part of the road is gravel now, but it never used to be. It was just shale. So it was like, you just slid everywhere. So I uh, got my load of dirty dirt on, and I'm coming down the uh, um, hill from three down to the uh, to the bridge. And uh, then I see it's, it's extremely wet. And uh, then I was like, this does not look good at all. But I, I was already too far in. Like, I had to keep going. So uh, I pinned it down across the bridge. And, yeah, I was just hoping, like, you know, don't go off the bridge. Just try and stay on the road. I realized uh, that uh, I, I wasn't going to make it. I was still trying, though, because there was no nothing else I could do. Uh, the mud was, it was pretty bad. So, uh, this is like, you got to slow right down here and it, it probably doesn't look that steep, but, uh, it, it like it's second or third gear, uh, you're, you end up in just to make it up this part of the hill. And then right about here was where I spun out. So this is looking back behind where I was. That was all mud. I got out, uh, I lifted my box up a little bit so I could get my chains on. I got out, I pulled one set of chains off, and I realized that the uh, ice, there was still hard ice under the mud. Um, I th laid my uh, chains on the tire and then started slide. the whole truck started sliding backwards with the box up in the air and me not in the truck. So I had to jump on the side of the truck get up into the driver's seat i i rode it out but there was no i couldn't steer it or anything like it just went where it wanted the trailer ended up in the ditch uh not flipped over or anything though so i ended up having to put two sets of chains on getting out of there uh i made it up to the top with two sets immediately phoned wyman and uh he said oh no i didn't go up there on the haystack i took the altairs cut across uh, which is a road that they had built that I didn't know about because I guess they built it while I was in Ontario. Either way, I was not very happy with him. Don't say you took the haystack unless you took the haystack. But anyways, it, I, I was able to save it from going into the creek, but I, I tell you, I, uh, I was pinching the seat there quite a bit.